Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to get free overlays for OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now there's a few ways to get some free overlays. I'll be covering a few different places to get them and how to install them to OBS. First, I'll start with the two easiest ones, Stream Elements and Stream Labs. These are the easiest because most people are already using these in their chats for let's say bots or like chat commands and things like that. So if you're already using one of these, these would be just the simplest and easiest ones to get started with. So those are the ones we're gonna do first. I'm gonna start with Stream Elements. All we're gonna have to do here is go to Stream Elements and log in with our Twitch. This is just going to assure that everything's connected to your Twitch account. Now, if you are already using the bot, you've seen this page before where you've had to add your bot and stuff like that. Now, we're just going to go down here to Streaming Tools, and here it will say Overlay Gallery. This is just a great easy spot to look through. These are very, very easy to install, so you can just scroll down the list of free ones that they have here. On Stream Elements, they're all free. Um, I think all of these here are free, and at the very top, they'll have an option for, like, get a custom design on Fiverr. And there's a link right here, right to the Fiverr page, so you'd be able to go do that. And those, there's also alerts and widgets so if you're looking for more than just an overlay and you need your alerts and other things as well you could do it all on one platform which I definitely suggest if you're just starting this is the best way to keep everything in one place so for this one here we're just gonna scroll down we're just gonna pick one at random so this one here is the one we're gonna go with we're just gonna click create we're gonna name it here it'll give us like the option to give it a name we can type in whatever we want new overlay and then create my overlay now this is just gonna come up with a bunch of links it's super easy and there we go Bam, all you'll need to do is copy these ones here and paste them into OBS. To do that, this here is the new overlay in-game scene. We're going to copy this one here and open OBS. Once OBS is open, we're just going to click on the add and we want to add all of these as a browser source. Most things from Stream Elements or Stream Labs is going to be added as a browser source. So we're just going to name this one here Overlay. We're going to paste the link in here and then we're going to want to make it 1920 by 1080. Depending on your screen or canvas size, you'll want to make it match. It'll be a lot easier if it just matches, then it'll be perfect fit. After that, we're going to want to make sure that we scroll down the list and shut down the source when not visible and refresh the browser source when scene becomes active, just in case we switch scenes. Our scene was a little bit bigger than 1920 by 1080, so I'm just going to stretch it out. Okay, so this is what it added. This is the overlay. It's going to have our, our Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook links. It's going to have things like recent donations, recent cheers, recent followers, and recent subscribers. So that'll be how easy it is to install the overlay. And if we go back, there's other things here as well. There's the just talking screen, the uh, just starting screen, the BRB, and the ending screen. So these will have all the scenes that you need right here. The only one I wanted was just the in-game scene. It'll be your choice. If you want to set up more scenes, you can just add a new scene and then just add the overlay to the scene as you want them. So that's something you can do. I only need one because I don't have a very complicated setup. Like I have main with camera, main without camera. Isn't very complicated. So just posting, just pasting whatever overlay that you picked here will be the simplest way. Once we're done, we can just click go to overlay and it should be here in our overlays so that we can come back and edit it later if we need to. You can see I've, I've tested this a few times already, but this one here, add it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different scenes which again, it gave you the link for them all at the very first. And this is just gonna give you the link to one at a time once you're in here. So the easiest way to do it is when you first click it and click create and copy and paste all the links from the one page, or you'll have to come back in here and sort what ones that you've just added to the ones that you may have already had here for a while. And sorting through that isn't always great. It should be the top ones, but not always. But that's it for stream elements. That's as easy as it is, bam. You're done, you're, you're off to the races, your Stream Elements overlay is added. These are all free on Stream Elements, so this is one of the best free resources that you can get. It's already something that you might be using, and it has a lot of great free options. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking for free overlays, that these are the easiest and the freest ones that I've found so far. The next place is Streamlabs. This is another great place to find free overlays, and it's the same thing, just sign in with your Twitch, or go to the dashboard if you're already using it, and if you've already used this for a bot, this is going to look very familiar. We're just going to go down to the side where it says themes and overlays. Once we click in here, we're just going to be able to scroll through. All these ones here are free. They do have some premium options actually across that. They're not all free, but there is premium options. You can try their ultra, but most of these ones here are free or included with just their standard packages. In Streamlabs, it's pretty easy through the games categories is sort by. You can just type in free and click search. 
and this will come up with all the just the free packages this one here has a lot of different ones if you do not want to pay for it or try the ultimate just type in free here and this will give you all the free options these ones are going to be a little bit different when you click install theme uh, this is made more for if you already are using streamlabs to stream with but they are very much convertible so you can install theme and it'll ask you to download streamlabs for your desktop. So this is one that you will need to use, the Streamlabs. So if you're streaming with Streamlabs or using Streamlabs to stream with and in your chat, this would be a great option. Just go in here. A lot of these are free. Just type in free, go through and install the one you want. Unfortunately, to get these here over just into normal OBS is a little bit harder. You can install it to Streamlabs and then open OBS and then convert your Streamlabs into OBS, but that's a little bit more complicated process and that's definitely something you would have to search for separately. I can leave a link down to that in, in the description below, but that's it for Streamlabs. We're gonna move on from this one here because it doesn't give you quite as many options as like Stream Elements did. Stream Elements, you can post those in Streamlabs, OBS, or Stream Elements live. So it'll work in them all. This one here is a little more restricted where these ones here need to be installed to the Stream Labs itself and then convert it over into Stream Elements. The next two places that I'm gonna look at are Owned 3D and Nerd or Die. So I'm gonna go with Owned 3D first out of my selection. Now, I had a lot of issues with this here, guys. Um, I signed up. I had to log in, it made me sign up for some of their pro stuff, and then they spammed me with a bunch of emails that took me months to get straightened out. So this is a site that I had a little bit more problems with, and I couldn't figure out where the free ones were. There is free ones here, just they're very hard to find, and I had to go to the stream overlay packages, Twitch, click on the all, see there, it's very misleading when I was on this here website. It had the stream overlay packages, and I clicked on it, and it it didn't really have much. It said bestseller, include it. It was quite hard to find free ones, so I don't actually suggest this one here. This is one I actually have quite a bit of problems with. They could have an easy filter, but I've tried sort by. I've tried all their filters to figure out where the free stuff is. I don't find it's a great option, but it is one, and a lot of people certainly enjoy it. And just because I've had a bad time with it and a bad experience with it doesn't mean that they don't offer a great service. They had some problems in the past with the emailing me, and I got really upset, spammed them a whole bunch online, and, well, it looked bad on me. I was very unprofessional, but they do offer great stuff. I definitely suggest making an account, but again, be careful. If you don't like emails and stuff like that, they do send out a lot of mail. I didn't like that. You can just block it if you don't like it, though. That is something that did annoy me quite a bit. And finding free stuff on here was quite hard. So finding Twitch overlays, when it went to them, there's just no where's to find and click on free ones. So you have to go through and find ones that aren't free or ones that are not included just in their pro. So that might be something that you have to go through and play with the filters a little bit. Or I found just Googling free overlays on owned 3D and following a couple of tutorials did lead you to exactly the links that you need. We're going to move on from this one here because I, I couldn't figure it out. Owned 3D kind of. I don't want to sign up for them. I had issues with them in the past. So this is something I can't go through quite a bit of the process with. But we'll jump over to Nerd or Die next. When Nerd or Die uh, loads up, this one here is actually one of the easiest ones. We can just go over here to the Create and it will come up with some options that say Overlay Maker. Now this is just the easiest way to get to the free ones because it'll say Browse Free Overlays here on the side. There's other ways to find it. This is just the quickest and we're there just with one click. It'll have a bunch of free ones here. It will say what they're for. We can select the free overlays from Twitch and it'll go down here to this one here. When you click on more free overlays, it's gonna include whole bunches of ones that cost different prices. So that's something to keep in mind as well. There is a few free ones, but there is some that cost money and these will these ones here will be the easiest ones to just pick from. And what I suggest is just finding one you like, clicking on it and downloading it. For me, a few of the ones that I tried out and downloaded were the Kinetic Light, the free stream package, and the free extras from uh, Showdown because I super liked some of the things that they had. Now to add these here to OBS is just as easy as clicking the download. After you're done downloading it, all we'll need to do is open OBS, go to our downloads, we'll wanna extract the files. So we're just gonna extract all here to the location that they're in, and you'll wanna make sure that you put these someplace that you can find them later on, because if you move them around, it will break them inside your OBS. So the ones that you're gonna use, make sure that you put them in places so that they don't get removed or moved around too much. So you wanna make sure that you put them in a folder named Streaming Stuff so that you can save it or back it up later on. Now, in these, all these here files from Nerd or Die, it's gonna come with a get started here. When you click on it, it's gonna say Showdown Overlay and Alerts 
setup guide. What I suggest doing is clicking on the guide and following it step by step. But just for a look inside, most of it's going to come with like files and folders. This one here is just stinger transitions, which is just fine. It's got a couple of stinger transitions and they'll just be things you have to add manually into your OBS. Okay, I got a little bit set up here because this is my scene, but this was just the showdown overlay, which was um, at the time it was free. It was kind of a special. I think it costs now, but there's a lot of other free ones on there. And all I had to do was add the media source was just add a plus and add the media source and then I had to look through and find each one of the ones separately. So I added the background. They all had their labels for where they were supposed to go so it made it very easy to set this here up. So this was my, my starting stream page which came with this text and the background image and I had to add everything else to it. So the camera on here and the chat I added those myself which were included as the camera borders so you can use this in many different ways once you've downloaded them for the stinger transition to add this one here manually we just have to go down here click the plus or click the dots and click properties and make sure that we have it selected in the video file and pick the one that you want and then just click OK. This will add it manually to here. It's the same as all the other sources, the media source, the, the video rotate, the social media tags. All these here things will have to be added manually from the folder. So we, once you find your folder and make sure it's in a good spot, you'll have to go through. It'll look like this. So if you want the OBS Studio Quick Install, you can actually just click on this here. I find these very convenient, but not everyone wants to use those. So you can go to the graphical, the graphic assets for individual files if you want to add them all manually. I did this here for all of mine for my source files and stuff. But like I said, all these here will come with the get started here and the quick install for OBS, Stream Elements, and Streamlabs. I find not Nerd or Die have some of the best resources and some of the easiest to install. I absolutely love what they're doing and this is one of the best spots to find free easy to install overlays. As you can see these here are set out really good. If you have stream elements it'll just be a double click that will automatically open stream elements and add them there. For the manual installation of the OBS ones I'm still trying to figure out how to add the Lua file. The quick installs will actually need um, an OBS Lua install. So what we're going to do here is just go to the graphical assets and it's going to have all of the pictures in here. So this will be the easiest way to install it so you can click on the things, uh, webcam. So those are th like very self-explanatory. We can go into the scenes, uh, backgrounds, and use the ones from here that we want to use. Uh, the it's a vid If it's a video file, we'll need to add it as a media source. And if it's a picture, we'll need to add it similar. So what we're going to do is click in here and we'll go through it. We have a uh, media source, media source 2. We're going to click on the browse, go to where we downloaded it, and make sure that this here is in a spot that you're going to be able to get back to it. What I suggest doing is taking the pieces that you want out of here and adding it to a different folder so that you can back up your stuff later on. So it's red and bronze, scenes, and backgrounds. And then from here, we're just going to be able to pick the background where we want, click OK, and then click OK. There we go. It'll be our BRB screen. We can drag it to the size that we want or move it around. But that's as easy as it is to add them. So when you're downloading them, all we have to do is just put them in by adding a media source or a picture. There's a few other things that you can get. There's like browser sources images and media sources are the most common ones. Once they're at it though, that'll be it. That's how you will be able to get some free overlays and get them installed to OBS. I definitely hope this here helps you out. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.